Bonjour, madame et monsieur. Welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where today we shall be continuing our French campaign to rule the waves. In this case, the waves of the Mediterranean and the Adriatic Sea, it appears. Today, if, if, I, if I recall correctly, we had a fairly decent fight last time. Um, we're getting some skirmishes today, I'm afraid. Let's see, the enemy is to the southeast, so my course is just fine. We have a badly damaged light cruiser, you're going to disengage straight away. These light cruisers continue like this, you continue like that, and you stop dodging. And let's go. Oh, and disable your torpedoes. Bit annoying. No. That's sad. Continue on course. Torpedo boats enable torpedoes. If the enemy turns in your direction, you may launch when ready. Oh, come on! Stay on target, please. Detach. You, sir, are very lucky. Very lucky indeed. Well, other two may disengage. Well, disappointing start. A torpedo boat lost. Unlucky, she got hit by a four-incher that did 2,500 damage. I mean, my 10 insured did almost the same damage. This is a bit frustrating. Anyway, I'm moving over my light cruiser group to the other flank to support the torpedo boats. Not that I need it, but uh, still. And a good hit on something big. Yes, it would appear these are... I don't know. Battleships or heavy cruisers? Heavy cruisers. It could have been both, looking at the hull. Of course, we only have heavy cruisers and light cruisers, don't we? Yeah. Alright, let's make a small, gentle turn there. Light cruisers, small, gentle turn. Torpedo boats, small, aggressive turn. Go in. Oh, and uh... Oof. That seven incher hurts. No, it's a four incher that did 400 damage. Huh. Okay. Now, torpedo boats. Prepare for torpedo assaults. In the meanwhile, the other ships will continue to do your thing and go pew pew. Kill them with fire, like the rest. The light cruiser group is finally catching up. So is the last battleship. She is back in formation. We did see a torpedo warning, didn't we? Yeah, we did. This light cruiser shot a torpedo at me. And... Come on! Let me guess, friendly fire as well? If... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause the game. If this was friendly fire... I will be grumpy. I will be very grumpy. Main gun is destroyed. No, no, no. No, it does not appear to have been friendly fire. Okay. Well, you're getting away with it. Um, auto torpedo boat. Do your thing. For God, king and co country. So much for my uh, charge of my torpedo boats. Mental note. 
Don't do that again. <laughs> Ouch. Such a waste. My entire torpedo boat group gone. And it could have been prevented if you just had a different admiral. Eh, light cruiser smoke up because why not? And with that, this battle comes to a close, so yeah, let's fast forward. And with that comes an end to this minor skirmish. Um, look at that. No ships lost on my side. Five ships lost on the enemy's side. Yeah, I know. These ain't ships, they're boats. Torpedo boats. And boats don't matter in the grand scheme of things. Only ships do. We lost zero ships. If you ask me how many floatable devices we lost, yeah, that's three. <laughs> um, talking about floating devices, no. <laughs> Lol. But you know, if, if I took that manually, they would have run. So this is actually better. Um, heavy cruiser, light cruiser against a heavy and a light. And three heavy cruisers against a battleship. You know what? Let's spin the wheel on this one. Heavy damage, light heavy. Okay, fair enough. And we're going to fight this one. So let's see. We have one heavy cruiser with 10 inch guns. We have one funny looking heavy cruiser <laughs> with 9 inch guns. And another one with 9 inch guns. Oh my! 10 times speed, please, and find me the enemy. These ships can do 21 knots, and they should be doing 21 knots. Meep, meep. Let's go. Move it, move it, move it. All ahead flank. Follow the Admiral Trehot. Trehotard. Uh, je ne sais quoi. Je ne parle français, mes amis. So, at four kilometers, my guns have opened fire. I am confident that I can actually do some pretty decent damage against this battleship. Sure. This battleship will probably have bigger guns. I got more. And let's face it, I'm using heavy cruisers with 10 inch guns. This battleship only has 10.3 inch guns. This, 12,500 tons. 17,000 tons. Honestly, this is a light battleship. Not a heavy cruiser. At least for this day and age. The first fires has been have been set on the enemy battleship. And my other battleships... <laughs> my other heavy cruisers, pardon me. Are slowly getting into position to fire as well. With their full broadsides. Nine fire sets. Not a lot actually. Let's take a look at the aiming. 6%, 3.6, 3.9. Yeah, not great. Not great at all. Um, I'm going to close in. Close in on the battleship. Maybe we shall sail to our doom. However, the enemy lost sight of two of my heavy cruisers already. Well, okay, let's come about and turn to the other side of the battleship. Because over here somewhere was the enemy. Yeah, there she is. Enemy light escort. 
I'm going to train all my secondaries on her. One or two hits should be enough. But we lost sight again. Um, you. Detach. Pursue. These two ships will finish off the battleship. This heavy cruiser will find that escort again and engage her. I'm confident her 3-inch guns will be more than sufficient to deal with the uh, escort ship. In the meanwhile, enemy battleship has been set on fire 15 times. As my little boat has found their escort. You may use whatever ammo you desire. And we get the first real hit on my um, heavy cruiser here. Well done battleship, I suppose. Oh, some of the guns want to use uh, AP ammo. Sure, let them. Let's see what we can do. As the enemy misses, their light cruiser is disengaging. Sure, not going to pursue. Waiting until the 10 inches fire, and then we're going to come hard about. The Aquila has no, Aquileta, pardon me, has taken some damage, some flooding, nothing too serious yet. It's only a matter of time, though, as one of my ships took a engine hit. Seven damage, a two-incher. What? A two-inch gun? Dis... Disabled an engine? What on earth did that gun do? I mean, how? Uh, it's only a six inch belt. Um, it's a bloody six inch belt, come on. A B penetration. Five point five. If I read it correctly, that is, I find, in all honesty, I find this screen, especially looking at the uh, HE and AP penetration, I find it really confusing. It's not really user friendly, I must say. I'm supposed there is some logic to it, but for the life of me, I can't see it. Anyway, Battleship has seen better days. And this is the moment I would have loved to use her torpedoes. Sadly, I do not have them. Oh, look. Oh, a four inch sure knocked out. Uh, well, caused a flooding this time. Next thing you know, a one inch sure will cause an ammo detonation. Still, a very lightly damaged uh, heavy cruiser versus a battleship. That has been sunk. I do not mind. Uh, look at that. And there's the 500. Let's go for the 600, shall we? Okay, the enemy can still fire straight backwards. But she's pretty much dead. So, yeah, I'm going to speed this one up as well. See you in a bit. And 
and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. One ship sunk, but let's face it, it was the only ship that really mattered. So, let's take a look, shall we? It has been a while. At least for me. Probably like, I don't know, half a week or something since I uh, recorded a French campaign, so... Gotta familiarize myself again with what I had done. Let's see, 5% repairs coming up. Uh, range finders, yes please. And advanced towers, yes please. We don't need new cruiser tech right now, but let's see. Upgrading the five inchers. I don't think I even have five inchers, do I? Yes, I do. Hmm, tempting. Um, what isn't tempting, though, is my torpedo boats. They are not performing properly right now. Um, in fact, I have seven torpedo boats active, but I also am building 12 of them. Type, please. And they're the same class, and they're, they're a 500 tonner. And they just did not perform properly just now. So let's take a quick look. 500 tons is the maximum we can do. Okay, discard. No new designs. In other news, I was building battleships, I think. Wasn't I? Yeah, eight months, some Gascognes and some Revenge. Classes. Add crew, please. Please add that as a default. Um, yeah, okay, I have an Italian torpedo boat there. I have a bit of an overkill here in terms of ships in this harbor, so send them out to sea. Send these guys out to sea. And let's take a look at the status of these ships. You are all good. Wonderful. You know what? Let's park in front of Naples. And let's hit the end turn. And see what we can see. Okay. A war with the Austro-Hungarian Empire or peace with the Austro-Hungarian Empire? Um, it's 63 million to keep the peace. I'll lose some naval prestige and I'll gain some unrest. Well, frankly, the unrest isn't the issue and the naval prestige, well, it isn't either. 505, so... Um, I don't really want to go to war with the Austro-Hungarian Empire right now. But I'm not a coward. Sure. Okay, let's auto resolve this one. Another small fight. Not interested in doing that one. Oh, look at that. And 17 inch torpedoes. <laughs> and a very small convoy battle. Let's auto resolve that as well. God damn it. <laughs> Research. Small guns. Nope. Um, yeah, looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Hopefully in next turn the Italians will sign a peace treaty with us. That is what I am hoping for anyway. And in the meanwhile, I will move my ships... around a bit to blockade the Austro-Hungarian Navy who desire a war with us. Let's see, they have 50 active ships, building 45. I'm not worried. 
But I would really like that peace treaty with the Italians, though. Come on. Give me peace. Yes! Thank you! Oh, I can't take their islands. I wanted their islands. Oh, oh well. <sighs> Stop whining. Why can't I get their islands, though? Maybe because it's a minor victory? I suppose. Um, I could take their, in like, their entire fleet. I mean, can I? I want to know. Can I take the entire Italian fleet? I mean, it would be very bad for my um, naval budget, my monthly balance, but I'm still keeping 500 million. And the Italians gotta rebuild everything. <laughs> everything. And that is kind of funny as well. Um, the Brits are sending an ultimatum. Apparently I have ships near our borders. Oh, probably here in uh, Sicily. Let's see. 20 relations with the British Empire. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Um, this, however, is a war. Do I want a war with the English right now? No, I do not. <sighs> Could I have taken it? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. No, no, no. That would have been a war indeed. And I only want a war with the Austro-Hungarian Empire for now. One fight at a time, please. That is what I desire most. What I prefer to fight. I'm not a big, big fan of world wars. They're too chaotic. Alright, control stations. Done. Range finders. Three months. Internal protection. Two months, but you'll go up to four months then. I don't want that. Hull protection. I suppose torpedo protection 2 will come up. Um, you know what? Let's let's go to hull construction with one. And yeah, I do desperately want a new torpedo boat design. That said, um, I believe I have a Italian fleet that is in desperate need. Yeah, sure, British, I hate you. Let's do it for shits and giggles. And I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Sadly, the enemy did not come out to play. Then again, this time they do. Oh, yes, they do. Let's take a look. Small light cruiser, small light cruiser, and a third light cruiser. Tell me I have some decent heavy cruisers here. Um, a 10,000 tonner, 10,000 tonner, and a 12,000 tonner. Oh, yes. Three decent heavy cruisers. Um, 10 5, 10 5, 10 5, so also three decent battleships. And there we go! Come on, don't tell me you're running now. Harder. Oh! Oh, oh, no, they're not running. I said it, and they decided to open up on me. So let's turn the battleships. Heavy cruisers. You know what? Let's turn in as well. We have found the enemy and engaged the enemy. At 0564. We have detected a warship!
and we have sank a warship. <laughs> Battleships, change target, heavy cruisers, change target, light cruisers, continue pounding that soon to be wreckage. Um, battleships. Stay on course for a tiny whiny bit longer. So my light cruisers have time to turn. Okay, battleships, you may start your turn. Heavy cruisers may turn in as well. My battleships turn like a brick. Going to change fire to the third light cruiser. Light cruisers. Boom! That's what I wanted to see. Very well done. Battleship over there, please. Over there, please. But be careful. I misclicked, and I know I did. Let's turn the front of my formation around. Heavy cruisers, you will cut in. For you, will be my new tanks for the time being. There's nothing in my rear for the moment. Good, 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 good. Uh, die Kufstein is under fire. However, my fire is awfully... Um, Divided. So let's focus fire a bit, shall we? And teach the Stokoro that this was a very bad move. A torpedo hit, a flooding. Another flooding. Ouch. And she is done for. Okay. Let's go in aggressively, shall we? Light cruisers. Stay behind a bit, yeah. It's obvious, the Tourville has trouble keeping up with the uh, the other battleships. Uh, tight formation on my light cruisers, please. I want the other two to catch up quickly. This light cruiser is not long for this world. Yeah. That's what I said. The enemy is still shooting me. Frustrating, but by now I'm used to it. Okay. Targets are quiet. Fire at will. This is a massacre. The enemy has no chance. That's the way I like it. I mean, I'm all up for uh, fair fights. And tricky fights can be very fun. But there is a certain pleasure that can be obtained from these kind of fights. Mind you though, I'm charging straight into the enemy and we have enemy formations dead ahead. So I might actually be surrounded before too long. That ought to be fun. Changing up to shoot only these two targets with primaries and secondaries. So I can be sure that there is a hole in the enemy formation for my ships to pass. Light cruisers have detected some damaged enemy ships. Okay. That's the ship with the uh, en engine damage from the start of the battle, I suppose. Uh, battleship main secondary. Heavy cruisers main secondary. Light cruisers main secondary. Thank you. Shots from here. The Kaiserin und Königin Maria Theresia. Oh la la. 
Sure, be an empress and a queen. Overdoing it a bit. Of course, it only means she's empress of a certain area and a queen in another. But hey, let me complain. Frankly, if I could choose, I would go with the empress title. Drop the other one, come on. No need to to name it in such a situation. Ah, uh, well. Enemy heavy cruisers have seen better days. Battleships and heavy cruisers will turn in and go after them. My light cruisers, in the meanwhile, will change targets to the other side. Um, heavy cruisers, uh, this way please. Uh, battleships, uh, yeah, this way. Five times speed! Let's be quick about murdering them. That does remind me, if you uh, have a fun name for a ship, if you want to name a ship after yourself or something, just let me know in the comments down below. Could be fun. And who knows, you might see your name uh, in my campaign. Or campaigns. And we have an ammo detonation. On one of my light cruisers. Okay, heavy cruisers turn back. You are no longer needed in this sector. Battleships, well, let's face it, you're not needed here either. <laughs> so let's turn away. And there the heavy cruiser goes. Let's see, let's check in on the light cruisers. My five inchers. Tell me. They're Mark 1 5 inchers. Um, I do have the Mark 2s unlocked. I haven't upgraded these ships yet, but I really should. Uh, let's see. This is a group of four light cruisers that remain. And probably f between two and six torpedo boats still. Oh yeah, the torpedo boats are in my flank. This way, please. There are the light cruiser one. Only one light cruiser that I can see. Okay, let's go after the light cruiser. And tell me, where is the fire from the torpedo boats coming from? Six kilometers and holding. Battleships, heavy cruisers, go after them, shall we? Boom! That was a good hit. 1k damage done. Let's take a look at the enemy cruiser while we still can. They only have many bulkheads. With your quite impressive 5 inch battery at the front of your ship. There we go! And I'm not going to bother looking for the last torpedo boats. Hmm. Three cruisers, four cruisers remaining, three torpedo boats. Hmm. Not too bad, 18 ships gone. Hurrah! A few of my ships took some light damage. Um, let's move these ships away from the British territory. Because I think that is why the British are so grumpy with me. And what do we have here? Yoink. Kill an attack. And send another group here. So. Research. I do have new destroyers. 700 ton destroyers to be exact. 
Uh, do I want to build them already, or will I wait until I get the Calyx Rangefinder 2s? Hmm. I think I might wait. And... Yeah. Should I wait? Should I, should I, should I? Yes, I will wait. However, um, I will view this light cruiser design. I have two light cruiser designs, by the way. Huh. And refit. And realize that my guns no longer fit. God damn it, Sarge. Now what? <sighs> Let's see. Can we get her working? Uh, it's mostly these sight guns that I really dislike having to remove. Uh, however, I could add two there. You have to go away, sure. Can I refit? No. No. Well, if I move my funnel and tower back, then at least I should be able to get a more, well, semi-classical design in. Mark two guns. You know what? Let's turn them... Uh, that's a shame. 15% does not work either. 10%. 10% is acceptable. Nope, we can't really do anything with the uh, guns beside that. However... I could give you a small secondary battery of a very long barrels. Yeah, four point one inch guns. Okay. I suppose it gets the job. It will continue to do the job. Is there anything else I need to upgrade? I could go to Harvey Armor. Um, I could go... Come on, I could go with a 6-inch belt. And I could go with a 3-inch aft belt and a 6-inch fore belt. No. How about a 5 and a 2-incher? A four and a one point five incher. I said one point five. Seven overweight. There we go. Save design. Exit. And let's refit, shall we? Gonna take a while, I suppose. Let's see. Four months. Yeah. Yeah, there's all the guns need to be ripped out and refitted, so makes sense. Do I even have you for the class? For fa need for not for lay. Yeah, I'm gonna give up on this design pretty soon, I think. However, you do have five inches. Upgrade them. Let's see what we can do. Uh, ooh. No, 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 that does not work. Uh, 
Whoops. Download out. You alpha DAO. Remove you. <laughs> what is up with that gun? Okay, there we go. That's better. Well, I suppose I gotta take you out as well. Same with the aft of the ship. So I'm losing two guns, but in exchange, all remaining guns will be Mark II's. And a steam engine. I could I? No, 22 knots. Yeah, I could go to 22 knots. But then I do, I would need to change my boilers up. So let's not. Instead, let's just up the range of this ship. There we go. Refit. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Yes, please. Okay. Um, the 1900 design, delete. 1900 design, delete. Good, 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 good. Now, is there anything else I need to do? Um, my heavy cruisers have 5-inch Mark 1s. These heavy cruisers also have 5 inches. These do not, and these do... Yeah, they have. You know what? I'm going to uh, call the episode to a close here. And off camera, I will upgrade my ships, and I will see you all next time. Au revoir.